Hey, T Rainbow and Rainbow Kids, how you guys doing? Your boy Melvin Taylor. I'm back with another video. But before I get into that, I want to say this: make sure you click that thumbs up button, click that like button for your boy. Comment because I do comment back. Share this video on all your social media sites, as well as follow me on all my social media sites at Melvin Taylor. Now let's get to this video. Iyana last night. Ever since, I, first of all, you don't love me. I love me some Iyana last night. I love me some fix my life. I get my life out of this. But I was so ready for this new season to come, but. The episode last night is to be the episode I've been waiting since the season came back. It was the Hazel E episode. And you know Hazel E was a former member of Love Hip Hop um of um what was Love You know, New York? Yeah, I think New York. Well, you know, Love Hip Hop, anyways. So she, you know, recently um no longer no longer remember that, but she had an outburst um where she was talking about, you know, dark skinned women or, or monkeys, and she went off on a tangent on gays. And Yana, you know what, she went in there with hey, I gotta fix this you know it's it, yana she's gonna fix their life so um the episode starts off with um you know yana starts out with hazel's mom and hazel mom talks about how you know she um she you know she she was pregnant at 17 and she was forced to marry um her um the, uh, the father of a child and he uh, ended up dying and hazel never knew her um her father and, and you know a, a, a girl especially um a girl of color even though hazy has had her little get dark skin with me, she's still a woman of color She's still, she's still a woman of color, no matter what nobody says. And not having a father in your life can be damaging. But this is where the part really got to me. Hazel E said that she was raped when she was five. Rape is a hard thing. And, and, and to be raped as a young girl of five is crazy. But she said she was raped by two dark-skinned women. And that explains so much because, you know, she, you know, like Yana was saying, when, when you were going off on dark skinned women, you weren't going off because you thought you're so much pretty. You were going off because visually you were seeing those two dark skinned girls rape you. And you were seeing, you know, you, you, you were taken by that pain and that, and that trauma because you never really fully let go of that. Now, I'm not trying to say what Hazel E. did was right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it was wrong. It wrong. You know, because other people have been to that situation and not acted out. But you can kind of see where that comes from. And then what made it even worse was her mother said, I don't even remember it. Like, Mom, how? Hello? Hello? Mom, you don't even remember that your daughter was violated by two girls when she was five, two dark skinned girls. And then, and that was just like, Oh my God, that was, uh, but at the same time, do not bash your mom because her mom had her issues you going to. And cause like she said, her mom was, um, was Hazy, um, talked about her mom being beaten and covering up and put on makeup. And that's, and like you said, that's where she gets a lot of that, you know, having to be this and do that because of the fact she, it was a learned behavior because she saw what her mom did. And I'm so glad that Yana got to the point where her mom was actually able to say, you know, I'm sorry for not protecting you. Um, and because her mom said that was so liberating because that was a lot of her mom. A lot of times we just want to bash you, but sometimes people can do stuff. It's not right, but there's something behind it where that anger is coming from. And that was a lot of um, Hazel East anger towards what she said to dark skinned women and her guys gay. I'm not, I'm not up here trying to, to, um, to just say what she said was wrong because what she said was wrong. She was wrong. Point blank, she was wrong. But um, we can now see where that comes from. And um, I love when they put up, put, put up because the panel against dark skinned women and, and light skinned women. And um, they had the panel thing and it showed that, yeah, a lot of light skinned women um, go through the fact that some of their friends, like I, friends, you know, may, maybe, you know, um, can't go places with them or some guys want to be, um, only want to be with light skinned women. And we see that in the hip hop community that all, a, lot, a lot of black skinned performers, they won't like because, you know, it just seems right to them. And I love the fact that, um, you know, when when Iyana made her made her made her made her say, um, you know, you you owe to Ruby D, you owe to Harry Tubman, Tubman, you know, owe to Rose Park because they fought for you to be able to do. Ooh, my shot, that was a little Beyonce moment for Coachella. Shout out, shout out. Um, because of the fact they sat on the bus, they fought for you to be able to do what you do, and you you go against it, and it's it's just, oh my God, it's a, it's a fixing moment, and I got to see Hazel E now. Hopefully you've learned where that come from. Hopefully you can take that pain. And only time will tell you. I'm not trying to say, oh my gosh, she's liberated, she changed. I don't know. I'm not easy like that. But you have to sometimes when, when when people have been shown them and people have have have, have been, been through things, you have to give them this give them a time to see whether they have changed or not. So we have to give Hazy E that time, time to change. We, but we still have to be able to hold her accountable for what she did. And I want to say this to all my light skin sisters first. I don't say this. No matter whether you're light skin or whatnot, you are still our sister. And to my black, my, my caramel sisters, understand this. Brown is beautiful. 
You are absolutely beautiful. And to my dark skin girls, black, let me tell you something. You are black excellence. You are beautiful. Stop letting social media and hip hop games game tell you that dark skin or black women are not sexy because you are sexy. You are some of the most intelligent. You are some of the most creative. And you are, you are just an uh, unbelievable, beautiful product. Black women. Black women. You are so beautiful. Don't let anybody, and to all the black, dark skinned girls growing up, don't feel like you have to do a certain thing to get a guy because you know what? You're smart. You have a mind. You're meant for greatness. Black girl magic. Black girl joy. Black girl fly. Black girl everything. Melody magic. Okay? All right. I love you, my loves. Believe in yourself. Melody magic popping to my dark skinned girls. Uh, talk to you later. Bye.